on this computer. Good evening, and welcome to Thursday Evening Prayer with St. Mary's Episcopal Church in Dade City, Florida. We're so glad that you joined us this evening and ask if you are with us, if you would leave us some kind of a reaction or comment to know that you're praying with us so that we can pray with and for you. Our evening prayer is guided by the Mission St. Clair app, or if you're following along in the Book of Common Prayer, an order of service was sent out earlier this evening right here on our Facebook Live page. Let us pray. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel. My heart teaches me night after night. I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand, I shall not fall. Let's confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we, we confess, confess that we have sinned, sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory, glory to, to the, the Father, and, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us now say together the Phos Hilaron, the O Gracious Light. O Gracious Light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed. Now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Psalm 37. The Lord cares for the lives of the godly, and their inheritance shall last forever. They shall not be ashamed in bad times, and in days of famine they shall have enough. As for the wicked, they shall perish, and the enemies of the Lord, like the glory of the meadows, shall vanish. They shall vanish like smoke. The wicked borrow and do not repay, but the righteous are generous in giving. Those who are blessed by God shall possess the land, but those who are cursed by him shall be destroyed. Our steps are directed by the Lord. He strengthens those in whose way he delights. If they stumble, they shall not fall headlong, for the Lord holds them by the hand. I have been young and now I am old, but never have I seen the righteous forsaken or their children begging bread. The righteous are always genuous in their lending and their children shall be a blessing. Turn from evil and do good and dwell in the land forever. For the Lord loves justice. He does not forsake his faithful ones. They shall be kept safe forever, but the offspring of the wicked shall be destroyed. The righteous shall possess the land and dwell in it forever. The mouth of the righteous utters wisdom and their tongue speaks what is right. The law of their God is in their heart, and their footsteps shall not falter. The wicked spy on the righteous and seek occasion to kill them. The Lord will not abandon them to their hand, nor let them be found guilty when brought to trial. Wait upon the Lord and keep his way. He will raise you up to possess the land. And when the wicked are cut off, you will see it. 
I have seen the wicked in their arrogance, flourishing like a tree in full leaf. I went by and behold, they were not here there. I searched for them, but they could not be found. Mark those who are honest, observe the upright, for there is a future for the peaceable. Transgressors shall be destroyed, one and all. The future of the wicked is cut off. But the deliverance of the righteous comes from the Lord. He is their stronghold in time of trouble. The Lord will help them and rescue them. He will rescue them from the wicked and deliver them, because they seek refuge in him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our gospel reading this evening is from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 5. Once while Jesus was standing beside the lake of Genesaret, and the crowd was pressing in on him to hear the word of God, he saw two boats there at the shore of the lake. The fishermen had gone out of them and were washing their nets. He got into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, and asked him to put out a little way from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, put out into the deep water and let down your nets for a catch. Simon answered, Master, we have worked all night long but have caught nothing. Yet if you say so, I will let down the nets. When they had done this, they caught so many fish that their nets were beginning to break. So they signaled their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both boats so that they began to sink. But when Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus's knees saying, go away from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For he and all who were with him were amazed at the catch of fish that they had taken. And so also were James and John, sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. Then Jesus said to Simon, do not be afraid. From now on, you will be catching people. When they had brought their boats to shore, they left everything and followed him. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Please join me now as we say together the song of Mary, the Magnificat. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us now reaffirm our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us now pray the prayer that our Lord and Savior taught us by saying, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. 
your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. We entreat you, O Lord. That your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. We entreat you, O Lord. That we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. We entreat you, O Lord. That there may be peace to your church and to the whole world. We entreat you, O Lord. That we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. That we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of all your saints, entrusting one another in all our life to Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. O God, whose blessed Son made himself known to his disciples in the breaking of the bread, open the eyes of our faith that we may behold him in all his redeeming work, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. This evening in the World Cycle of Prayer, we pray for the people of Lesotho. In the Ecumenical Cycle of Prayer, we pray for our sisters and brothers, members of the African Methodist Episcopal Zion Church. O oh God, the life of all who live, the light of the faithful, the strength of those who labor, and the repose of the dead. We thank you for the blessings of the day that is past and humbly ask for your protection through the coming night. Bring us in safety to the morning hours through him who died and rose again for us, your son, our savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us now pray for our own needs and those of others. We ask you especially your prayers and thanksgiving for all of the health givers, all those that are working to keep us safe and to keep us healthy, most especially those associated with our parish, Nancy, Wendy, Carol, Susan, Sarah Lynn, Betsy, Claire, Lisa, and Elaine. We pray for those who are recovering from surgery or preparing for surgery, Mimi Cass Clark, Lori Hildebrandt, Mary Teschner, and Lee Bren. We pray for those with urgent need, Emmett Evans, Greg Goody, Dara Morgan, Alyssa Pumo, Lynn Ashford, Cecil McGavern, Kelly Teets, David Teets, John Harrison, Pat Goltry, Peggy Fetch, Elaine Morgan, Joyce Delosier, Ashley Brash, the Reverend Richard Brent, Barbara Jones, Kelly Oakley, Rondell Rutland, Jen and her family, Jeannie White, Julie and Leslie. And we pray for those with ongoing need, Perry, Stephen, Bebe, Mark, Cecil, Melvin, Mason, Sue Ann, Allison and her family. We pray for Jerry and Diane Rice, Dave and Marge Moffat, Terry and Denise McKenzie, Tom and Sue Serba, Leon and Betty Milton, Don and Suzanne Webb, Jim and Janice Tab, Rini and Bill Jordan, Karen and Dennis Phillips, Terry and Ralph Roberto. We also lift up to you and repose the souls of Richard Bingham and Vic Gumry. May you take them into your loving arms and accept them into your heavenly kingdom. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. We pray for Crawford and Casey, 
for Kate and Jessica and Hannah. Pray for Kevin and Cindy, Kyle, Jordan, Ryan, and Jamie. For Bob and Dee and Adam. For Haley, Morgan, and Emma. For Kevin, uh, for Bo and Patty. We pray for Sue and Kelly, for Becky and Mike, and for David. For David and John, for Alexa and Lauren, and for Enid and Jan. Are there others? Look with mercy, O oh God, our Father, on all persons who have become ill, weak, distressed, or isolated. Provide for them homes of dignity and peace. Give them understanding helpers and the willingness to accept help and increase their faith and their assurance of your love. This we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O oh God, whose fatherly care reaches to the uttermost parts of the earth, we humbly beseech you graciously to behold and bless whom we love, now absent from us. Defend them from all dangers of soul and body, and grant that both they and we drawing near to you may be bound together by your love in the communion of your Holy Spirit and in the fellowship of your saints through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now say together the prayer of self-dedication. Almighty and eternal God, so draw our hearts to you, so guide our minds, so fill our imaginations, so control our wills, that we may be wholly yours, utterly dedicated unto you, and then use us, we pray as you will, and always to your glory and the welfare of your people. Through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O oh Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you this night and forevermore. Amen. We thank you for joining us this Thursday evening for evening prayer at St. Mary's Episcopal Church in Dade City, Florida. As always, we want to invite you to our Sunday services of worship and praise at 745 and 10 a.m., on Sunday mornings. If for whatever reason you still don't feel safe in attending those in person, our 10 o'clock a.m. service will be streamed live on right here on our Facebook page. For those of you that are at home, take care of yourself, practice self-care, be of good cheer, reach out to someone you love. You might be the only voice they hear this day. My brothers and sisters in Christ, good night and God bless.